Star Wars X-Wing Alliance is a sequel to both Star Wars TIE Fighter and Star Wars X-Wing vs TIE Fighter. Ah, what a great day to pay a visit to the Rebels. I can see why you're gonna need so much back. X-Wing Alliance presents the story of the Azamine family. Don't worry, Otana, we've got you covered. The player assumes the role of Ace Azamine, the youngest of the children, juggling military duty of a fighter pilot for the Rebel Alliance and allegiance to his family, flying larger, heavily armed freighters for the family business amid a bloody family feud and in the larger context of a galactic civil war. Can't get a lock. Thanks, Green Leader. That was way too close for comfort. Thanks for your help. No problem, Otana. The game's prologue involves Ace's family missions, in which the elder family members instruct him in the flying of Karelian transports so they can begin working for the family. Ace participates in a variety of missions for the Rebellion, while also helping his family to fight the Veraxo. During his tour with the Rebel Alliance, he proves himself to be a significant pilot as he participates in missions that uncover new Imperial projects, such as experimental TIE Fighters and the second Death Star. What do you say we remove the irritation? At least the ID tag Eric things are holding up. I don't think for much longer. I'm about to jump into the world. Some events connect the game to the movies The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi such as sequences that track the Rebellion's situation after the Battle of Hoth, as well as a theft on the shuttle Tidarium. The game also concludes with the climatic Battle of Endor. X-Wing Alliance is the first game of the series to offer a full voiceover soundtrack and full in-flight dialogue. Nice. With high resolution textures, more complex models and full three-dimensional cockpits, the game looked better than any other. You have attack a friendly craft. This is two. I'm having trouble over here. Incoming! Gather! Cease your attack at once you'll be fired upon. The game also introduced multi-part missions that involved making hyper jumps from one region to the next. Finally, X-Wing Alliance added a much desired custom mission builder feature. The game's sales reached more than 140,000 copies in the US during 1999 and received favorable reviews. Power down at once or we will open fire. Critics praised the ability to hyper jump from area to area and the space battles for being much larger than the game's predecessors. Action now. They also recognized the improved details that added cinematic elements to make players feel as if they were rebels fighting in a never-to-be-released Star Wars movie.